Since Animal Crossing New Horizons came out a month ago, a lot has happened. I've made some good memories on my island and started to work on my collections. One thing I've been doing that has really enhanced my experience is keep a journal of my time here. I'd been seeing pictures going around online of journals long before the game was out, but was initially hesitant to start one since I've never kept a journal like this before, my handwriting is no good, and my art skills are… questionable. I'm so glad that I decided to take the plunge and make one though, and I know that there's plenty of other people who, like me, may not feel confident enough, so I wanted to make a video showing what I've been using and doing as a beginner that has made the process more fun for me. At the end of the video, I'm also going to show off some helpful online resources and alternatives to traditional journals, so stick around. First, I'm going to go over the materials that I've been using. I had this notebook lying around that I bought last summer and thought that this would be a good chance to use it. It's pretty basic, relatively inexpensive, and lined. While not having something more proper for a bullet journal did pose some challenges, namely it was difficult to get the pages to lie flat which caused me to tear some near the binding or give up and let it be uneven while working on it, and also it was easy for ink to bleed through. An upside though of having it be cheaper was that I felt less pressure because even if I messed everything up, there wasn't as much to live up to, so to speak. While this notebook was clearly made for New Leaf, I thought it was fun that I had the chance on every page to color in some of the characters, although I've only gone around to a few so far. I haven't used this pen yet, but I also bought it at Tokyo Game Show with the notebook. I might take it with the journal if I ever leave my house with it, since it's fitting. I have a few different tapes that I used, including this Animal Crossing one which I bought on Etsy and will put a link to down below. These are fun for creating borders, adding more color to a page, or, if it's see-through enough, faking a highlighter effect to avoid ink bleeding through. And I just had some basic colored pencils, which I also use for a highlight effect, among other things. One thing that helped me a bunch was printing things out. Because it's so easy to take screenshots in New Horizons, it's convenient to take record of things this way. Originally, I planned on making this video before the game came out. Oops, which is why I have a second sheet that's generic. Something important to note is that links to journals that I was inspired by are going to be in the description. I don't want to take credit for these people's ideas, and there sure were a lot that I implemented into my own journal, especially since this was my first time doing something like this. So please, please make sure to check them out. Okay, now for the good part. I'm going to show a bit of what my process was like on some of the more fun pages. The first one I really put effort into was the introduction page to my island. I focused on what my island was like when I first started my adventure by sharing my original map, passport, and the first town tune and flag I made. Thinking back, I wish I would have done something similar for my past Animal Crossing towns because even though I still have them, I don't have any record of what it was like when I first started, so being able to print these off is wonderful. I also decided to add a few drawings to show my native fruit, the color of my airport, my flower, and my starting villagers. I was a bit nervous to add drawings since I didn't want them to turn out badly, but I practiced them beforehand and am happy with how they came out. Although I looked at Plucky's e-reader card as the reference and later realized that she doesn't wear the flower in New Horizons. Oh well. But I think that that's something to keep in mind if you're worried about how your journal will come out. If you accept ahead of time that's not going to be perfect, it makes it a lot easier to start it and just have fun with the process. Maybe that sounds weird to say in a video where I'm trying to give advice, but I really do think that this mindset will make things more enjoyable. Also, sorry for the shadow from my phone that's recording. Another big part of my journal is the monthly pages. Every day that I play New Horizons, I jot something down that happened in game so that I can look back later on how my town progressed. If there were any campers, anyone who moved in or out, any special visitors I met, or anything else I want to remember, I'll put it down for the day. For March, I didn't have too much since there weren't many in-game days and I already recorded the beginning of my town in the front of my journal, so I put pictures of some of the opening scenes and drew the resident services tent. Also, sorry, I was looking at a reference on my phone and kept putting it in shot. Something else I decided to put in was which fish and bugs were leaving that month, so I could try to make sure to get them before my chance was gone. I did not get all of them. Next, here's me starting the April pages. Since the month isn't over yet, I won't be finishing them here. I decided to use the flower tape alongside my picture of Zipperty Bunny to remember the good times I had trying to get cherry blossom DIYs during the Bunny Day event. Towards the end of the month, I plan on adding an updated picture of my map since it has changed, and if I ever change my town tune or flag, I'd also add it here. 
Once again, I added the fish and bugs that are going to be gone next month, and I continue to keep track of what I do each day. Now that I've shown you how I made some of the pages, I'm going to walk you through what my journal currently looks like. In the front, we have the index and my boarding pass, which I'll be talking about a bit later. I kept most of it in pencil just because I'm not sure what's going to happen in the middle. Like, I might run out of space. I did make some minor changes to these pages, but not too much. Here's where I drew my progress on my loan and what facilities I have. I ended up making these pages a while after I started, so I already had quite a bit to fill in for both. Next comes my trekking pages. For New Leaf, I used an app, but this time I decided to keep my progress in my journal. You can see for the fish, I have a checkbox, the name of the fish, when they can be caught, and their location. I decided not to put the time of day since that would take up too much space. And I did the same for bugs. This took a decent amount of time to write out, but it'll be helpful to be able to keep track of what I have and what I don't. For the fossils page, since there's not as many details to write, I ended up with some blank space. I decided to try doing rough sketches of each of the main fossils that I complete. They're a bit rough, but the challenge is fun for me. I'm really glad that I have this page for KK songs because I kept accidentally buying songs that I already have. Now, I recorded this before the update was announced, so I don't have a page for paintings yet, but I will be adding them. I have plenty of blank pages, so I'm not worried about running out, but I am wondering what other pages I might add. I'm thinking about having a few pages dedicated to my changing passport, but we'll see what I end up doing in addition to that. I showed you what my own journal looks like, but I want to present some other methods for keeping a journal or keeping track of your time in your horizons that might help if you're still not sure about making this kind of journal. The first idea is to print things out to paste in a notebook or just keep by itself. This could take the pressure off of writing or drawing things. The website Dodo Airlines has a few different things you can make, including the boarding pass from earlier. This has been pretty popular online for journals, but also just as keepsakes, and the creator is also selling it as a sticker on Redbubble. Flashlight Flexo Art on Tumblr came up with this page that you can print out to write down some of the basics of your island. You could also use this idea as a basis in order to create your own pages in a program like Word. Speaking of which, another idea is to keep a bullet journal entirely in Word. Stardust and Sunshine on Reddit pointed out that there is a template for bullet journals in the program that you can use if you really like the dots. If you decided to go down this route, you could create your own page designs for what kind of information you want to type out, and you could also copy and paste images such as the boarding pass I showed off earlier, but also any screenshots that you might take, like your map. Next is a physical journal called the Island Companion Planner on Kickstarter that ended up getting fully funded, which also has a digital version. This seems very convenient since it gives a template for typical journal features like the map, collections, keeping track of villagers, your dailies, and a place to jot down notes. I do want to add that I can't find information and updates for it at the time of recording, so it doesn't seem that you can purchase it at this time. So we'll have to see, but hopefully everything is going well and it will be available to everyone in the near future. Of course, you could also keep a journal in the app's good notes, notability, or just on your computer. There are a couple designs available on Etsy by users like Emma Studios and Tough and Tiny, but also a more basic free one by EJ1103 on Reddit. But maybe you're not as interested in the journal aspect. You just want to know what things you still need to collect. In that case, there's an assortment of websites and apps that let you keep track of your progress in the game. Some of them also let you track things like your turnip prices to see what kind of pattern your town might be following that week, what you can currently catch in the game, or what villagers you have and what they're like. I will be linking to everything I just mentioned in order in the description, so feel free to take a look. I've had a good time keeping track of my island in my journal, and having it show the progress for my first year in game means that I'll be able to look back and see the different stages it's gone through. I hope that my video gave you a little bit of confidence if you weren't positive, if you'd be able to make one that you'd be happy with. It's okay to make mistakes. I sure made a few. Even if you've already begun your island adventure, there's no harm in starting to make a journal part way. In the end, as long as you're enjoying the act of making it, that's what matters. And then, later down the road, you can look back at how much things have changed. Maybe I'll be able to show how my journal looks when it's complete too, and we can see how my island transformed throughout the year.
please check out my social media like Twitter and Tumblr for updates on what's going on. I hope to be getting some special Animal Crossing things soon here in Japan. Thank you all so much for the likes, comments, and subs. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry that I had some things going on in real life that made it difficult to post for such a long time, but I hope to get back into things now. See you next time!